Okay, so I see some results coming in. Translation companies, translation, both translation interpreting. No academia, that's surprising. Uh, and product technology companies. Oh, a, a, a fair number of freelancers and, and uh, translators and interpreters on the line. That's great. Um, great, great. Thanks for answering that poll. Um, for Dada, if you can close that down, we'll get on to the, our next presenter. Um, our next presenter is going to speak to you for the next 15 minutes on disaster recovery, uh, Makis Saradakis uh, from Creative People. Uh, Makis, if you want to uh, share your screen and uh, start your presentation, your time starts now. Thanks very much. Hello, everybody. I'm sharing my screen. Good afternoon from uh, Athens. Not very much of a sunny day today. Hi, my, my, my name is Christoph from Sardakis, short named after Makis, and it's the as it's faster and easier to pronounce. I'm head of uh, Creative People Greece and Britain, and I'm here today to pinpoint some key points on which we should not forget regarding disaster recovery and especially IT-related disaster recovery. Disaster recovery is a hot potato during the corona times as COVID-19 puts all our plans to a stress test. Disaster recovery is uh, the core of any business continuity plan and as the incident involves, is the most important part of the procedure of getting back to business. All business continuity plans, short uh, named after BCPs, define the purpose, the scope, the objectives of the plan, define the internal and in external interdependencies and how people or departments interact with each other, and they also define resource requirements and the information flow along with tasks to be done under certain circumstances. All those should be documented so as not to lose time when the disaster happens. During the disaster, you should not think of how you will do it. You should act and then evaluate what you did. The main key elements of recovery plans are the responsibilities, the key tasks and the sequence of tasks, the resources, who must be notified and when, our contact information for all parties described in the plan, the recovery steps for critical activities, and every step has its own recovery time objective. We often call this RTO. Time is always against us, and especially in crisis time. Therefore, the faster we can recover is the better. Also, there's all, we should put a minimal acceptable result on what we put on, um, on, our, uh, on uh, the benchmark of what, on what we want to get. So, one of the biggest challenges within the disaster recovery plans is, first of all, that there's no fixed recipe. There are only guidelines. You have to customize it and, according, and put it according to the, the business nature and tailor it to your actual needs. This means that you actually need to complete a business impact analysis in which you should identify which business processes are critical. Identify as many tough situations as possible that should be covered in your plan. You should also ensure that you're covering everything you need to include. Everything means cost and cost can be can cause a DRP failure. This is actually a job for business owners, not just employees, nor just, nor just consultants or ITs. You have to understand that you cannot have it all. You have to think of it as, as a rope game. You win some, you lose some. You gain in functionality, you will lose in cost or in RTO. Last but not least of all our challenges is which risks you're going to mitigate. Is it gonna be an IT system outage? Is it gonna be a fire? Is it going to be a burglary? Is it going to be a COVID-19 outbreak? <laughs> In all the above scenarios, we have one common parameter, the people. Personnel is always the biggest challenge for any plan, not only disaster recovery plans. Is it going to be a human mistake? Is it going to be a violation? Let's take a look into that. 
Disaster recovery plans are a must during Corona times, and that's because human mistakes increase as we're not focused or not paying attention to detail. Yes, can you take my call? Thank you very much. Yeah, sure, I can, but they have a baby on them, babysitting. Personnel unavailability is an issue, and anxiety plus frustration brings more and more mistakes. There was a, a data breach report uh, made by Verizon in 2019 that actually calculated that the 32% of data breaches involve phishing. This means that those data breaches were actually resulted after people being tricked. Phishing or phishing, in terms of how you pronounce it, is clearly a human mistake. And during the coronavirus times, we have a lot. Why? Because people don't pay attention to details. They're trying to do everything fast so as to get back to what they were doing or babysit their children. It's human. So right in the beginning of COVID-19 spreading in Greece, we put our customers to a test. On the 10th of uh, March 2020, we actually tried to track 2000, over 2,000 users. Actually, 21.10% of the users were tracked. How? We simply sent out a spicing email where we pretended we were the Greek Ministry of Health. The mail had uh, directions regarding COVID-19. All the recipients were actually navigated to our page where we described what happened. During the COVID-19 times until now, we have a daily increase in attacks of all kinds against our customers, customers' infrastructures, counting 210%. Ransomware attacks, starting from a phishing email, have increased by 150%. Those are numbers that you cannot put away. And unfortunately, we have many en enemies that have many, many weapons. Most of the time, successful attacks end to systems lockdown. Ransomware attacking our files and need to de denial of service of our own systems. So, my message is to be alert. Take encrypted backups off premises. Make cloud backups when available, especially crucial files, virtual machines. Monitor your backups and test your backups. A backup that can't be restored is useless. Moreover, engage more people and make them care, understand how important this is. Every business continuity plan and disaster recovery plan needs its heroes, but it's not always the ITs. It's also the ones who have found those plans and moreover take the decision to put a line on what will be served and what, and what we will not in the alike scenario of an emergency, just like COVID-19 times combined with a data loss or breach. Creative people and I are at your disposal to discuss, put in place and test a disaster recovery plan that will suit your need. Thank you for your time. Stay safe. Stay sane. Thank you, Makis. Well done. You got it. You got everything done in under your time. That's great. So we'll, we'll, we'll got a little bit of extra time here now. Um, so maybe um, we can do we were going to do the, the, the second polling question, the third polling question after um, after uh, Fardad sp uh, spoke, but but Fardad, why don't we put up that second uh, polling uh, question so we can get caught up? Um, the second polling question was was to find out from 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 folks what the impact of of the COVID nineteen crisis has been um, on their uh, on their businesses to date. So if you could all take a look at that, if you see the red dot on the polls, if you could respond. <clears throat> 